Quantum Experiments at Space Scale Quest, Chinese, Liang Zi Kizue Shi Yan Weizing Pinyin, Liang Zi Kekshe Shi Yan Weixing, literally, Quantum Science Experiment Satellite, is an international research project in the field of quantum physics. Tiangong-2 is China's second space laboratory module which was launched on 15 September 2016. Tiangong-2 carries a total of 14 mission and experiment packages, including Space Earth Quantum Key Distribution Chinese, Liang Zimi Yao Fenfar and Laser Communications Experiment to facilitate space-to-ground quantum communication, a satellite, nicknamed Mishis or Mozi Chinese, Mozi after the ancient Chinese philosopher and scientist, is operated by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, as well as ground stations in China. The University of Vienna and the Austrian Academy of Sciences are running the satellite's European receiving stations. Quest is a proof of concept mission designed to facilitate quantum optics experiments over long distances to allow the development of quantum encryption and quantum teleportation technology. Quantum encryption uses the principle of entanglement to facilitate communication that is totally safe against eavesdropping, let alone decryption, by a third party. By producing pairs of entangled photons, Quest will allow ground stations separated by many thousands of kilometers to establish secure quantum channels. Quest itself has limited communication capabilities, it needs line of sight, and can only operate when not in sunlight. Quest has been successful in its objectives. Further Mishis satellites will follow, allowing a European Asian quantum encrypted network by 2020, and a global network by 2030. The mission cost was around $100 million in total. Topic. Mission The initial experiment demonstrated quantum key distribution QKD between Xinjiang Astronomical Observatory near Arumqi and Xinglong Observatory near Beijing, a great circle distance of approximately 2,500 km 1, miles. In addition, Quest tested Bell's inequality at a distance of 1,200 km 750 miles further than any experiment to date, and teleported a photon state between Shikanhei Observatory in Ali, Tibet Autonomous Region, and the satellite. This requires very accurate orbital maneuvering and satellite tracking so the base stations can keep line of sight with the craft. Once experiments within China concluded, Quest created an international QKD channel between China and the Institute for Quantum Optics and Quantum Information, Vienna, Austria, minus a ground distance of 7,500 km, 4, miles, enabling the first intercontinental secure quantum video call. In 2016. Topic Launch. The launch was initially scheduled for July 2016, but was rescheduled to August, with notification of the launch being sent just a few days in advance. The spacecraft was launched by a Long March 2D rocket from Jiquan Launch Pad 603, Launch Area 4 on 17 August 2016, at 17.40 local time. Topic: <laughs> Multi-payload mission The launch was a multi-payload mission shared with Quest, LIXING-1 research satellite, and Cubed Cat-2 Spanish science satellite. LIXING-1, LIXING-1 is a Chinese satellite designed to measure upper atmospheric density by lowering its orbit to 100 to 150 km. Its mass is 110 kg. On 19 August 2016, the satellite re-entered into the atmosphere, so the mission is closed. Cubed Cat 2, the 3 Cat 2 spelled Cube Cat 2, 
is the second satellite in the three CAT series and the second satellite developed in Catalonia at Polytechnic University of Catalonia's Nanosat Lab. It is a six-unit CubeSat flying a novel GNSS reflectometer GNSSR payload for Earth observation. Its mass is 7.1 kg. Topic: Secure key distribution. The main instrument on board Quest is a Sanyak effect interferometer. This is a device which generates pairs of entangled photons, allowing one of each to be transmitted to the ground. This will allow Quest to perform quantum key distribution (QKD), the transmission of a secure cryptographic key that can be used to encrypt and decrypt messages to two ground stations. QKD theoretically offers truly secure communication. In QKD, two parties who want to communicate share a random secret key transmitted using pairs of entangled photons sent with random polarization, with each party receiving one half of the pair. This secret key can then be used as a one-time pad, allowing the two parties to communicate securely through normal channels. Any attempt to eavesdrop on the key will disturb the entangled state in a detectable way. QKD has been attempted on Earth, both with direct line of sight between two observatories, and using fiber optic cables to transmit the photons. However, fiber optics and the atmosphere both cause scattering which destroys the entangled state, and this limits the distance over which QKD can be carried out. Sending the keys from an orbiting satellite results in less scattering, which allows QKD to be performed over much greater distances. In addition, Quest tests some of the basic foundations of quantum mechanics. Bell's theorem says that no local hidden variable theory can ever reproduce the predictions of quantum physics, and Quest will be able to test the principle of locality over 1,200 km. Topic Analysis Quest led scientist Pan Javai told Reuters that the project has enormous prospects in the defense sphere. The satellite will provide secure communications between Beijing and Arumqi, capital of Xinjiang, the remote western region of China. The U.S. Department of Defense believes China is aiming to achieve the capability to counter the use of enemy space technology. Paramount leader Xi Jinping has prioritized China's space program, which has included anti-satellite missile tests, and the New York Times noted that quantum technology was a focus of the 13th Five-Year Plan, which the China government set out earlier that year. The Wall Street Journal said that the launch put China ahead of rivals, and brought them closer to hack-proof communications. Several outlets identified Edward Snowden's leak of U.S. surveillance documents as an impetus for the development of Quest, with popular science calling it a satellite for the post-Snowden age. Similar projects Quest is the first spacecraft launched capable of generating entangled photons in space, although transmission of single photons via satellites has previously been demonstrated by reflecting photons generated at ground-based stations off orbiting satellites. While not generating fully entangled photons, correlated pairs of photons have been produced in space using a CubeSat by the National University of Singapore and the University of Strathclyde. A German consortium has performed quantum measurements of optical signals from the geostationary Alphazar laser communication terminal. The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA launched the Quinnus Macroscopic Quantum Communications Project to catalyze the development of an end-to-end -end global quantum Internet in 2012. See also 
Chinese space program Quantum information Quantum cryptography Quantum computing <laughs>